Yes, YouTube. Let's have a look at the crap. LeBron James breaks Royal Protocol with Kate. He knows, doesn't he? He knows. And I mean, what's the big deal? Like, she got a problem with that? No. The only people, really, you know. I mean, all right, David, I can tell you that they're turning to lizards on a Saturday night, but that's just gaslighting you, that. See? Because he's full of shit, as I keep pointing out. See, he's in it for the money. And, I mean, I can't believe there's people out there that don't see through this by now. I mean, it, you know, we're doomed if you can't just work it out that... David Icke will take all your money off you. He doesn't give a shit. You could say if you had 10 grand in the bank, you could go and get into David Icke and think, you know what, I'm going to help the world now. I'm going to give this 10 grand to uh, David Icke. I'm going to donate it. Now, if you went up to David Icke and went, you know, I was a bit of a fool. I can have that money back because my kids are starving now. They tell you to piss off. He's a con man. The con man. It's all a con. Like this, now this hand on this shoulder will have been planned. It's all staged. It's rehearsed. See? They're full of shit. The royals are all con men. You know, oh, uh, Harry was crying for the fallen soldiers. Do me a favour. It's just rubbish. Gotta get a grip, people. Gotta get a grip. I mean, how much are these royals coin in off? Um, oh my word, it's there again, isn't it? How much, do, you know, from these charities, you know, they take from the poor and they just shove it in their bank accounts. I'm telling you now. Oh my God, Kath, Kath from Oldham. Right? He's joining the fight for Ebola. Right? What a load of shite. Right, I like to do this every now and again. Uh, Africans say Ebola is lies. Right? Man living in Ghana confirms Ebola is a hoax. Here is what this man has to say. Top of the board, right? Spirit, science and metaphysics. <sighs> That's a weird old picture, isn't it? It's an owl and it's not. Some sick hold on that. Ebola. You know, don't forget, if you, if you thought about the boule. And now you say, boule, Ebola. Right? Trust me, I reckon there's a connection there. Um, a statement made by a man in Ghana named Nana Kwam has rocked the internet in the last few days. The following information needs to reach people. We need to see Ebola for what it really is. It's time that the world wakes up to the agenda behind all of this hysteria. Here is what this man has to say about what's happening in his own country. People in the Western world need to know what's happening here in West Africa. They are lying. Ebola as a virus does not exist and is not spread. The Red Cross has brought a disease to four specific countries for four specific reasons. And it is only contracted by those who receive treatments and injections. From the Red Cross, as I said, African Genocide. That video, that I, I named it that and it's got no views whatsoever. See, because Google and, well, I say YouTube, I just call it Google. You know, if I say Google, I mean YouTube. It's one entity. Uh, they will not let this stuff out, right? And then, you know, uh, I mean, I put that picture up ages ago, that one that's there. But it's just... Lies, most people jump, oh, I mean, how old is this? Yeah, 
It's a load of shit. You see that red cross? Run. Some West Africans believe the government is lying. Ebola scare fabricated by US media to make profit. Press TV US contrived Ebola scare to control West Africa. Ebola is fake. Ghana fights back. See, I was telling people this ages ago. I actually got flack for this. Someone said, I won't mention it. They went, I thought you were a bit shilly keep putting all that Ebola stuff up. No. Because it was lies and I knew it was lies back then. And I had to keep shouting at it. No, I probably saved quite a few people that did watch my videos. Fear. You know. Like, my mum was scared to death of all that. And I soon sorted her out. Like, and she, uh, that's just bollocks. It's, it's just more lies. Google. We need to, we need to attack Google. <laughs> 20 of your songs that changed the world. Shut up. Grow up. I made a song. I've made a song. So what? So what? Eh? What's a load of crap? Hey, it's giving me a lot of Oldham shit, isn't it? Oldham is a very, very depressing place. I mean, it's piss poor. I mean, there is money knocking about, but it doesn't, obviously, that's the ones that are around the edges, really. It's probably the odd drug dealer does all right, but the reality is it's just a miserable, shitty northern ex mill town. You know what I mean? You could get really depressed walking around Oldham. Um, and there's parts like you're not really meant to walk because, like, you know, there's a bit of a, a no go areas if you like. I mean, I don't actually believe that anymore but they still like to present it as that anyway put it that way you know uh, <coughs> you know it's an absolute shit all it's like the end of the world lots of owls in Oldham Say that's the sort of like the mascot. There's loads of these statues all over. I remember that. All right. Gas gas thing, wasn't it? Yeah. So like the north of England, it's just totally neglected. You know what I mean? It's. That's what I mean, like, people could say anything they want about anything, but what they don't realise is that these people that live down south in these sort of, like, well-to-do rural places, they do not bear the brunt of the reality. You see, and all they have to do is keep them in that false reality that they're in. Right? You know, go and buy an houses for a million pound and that or more. Like they like to shove down our necks. Uh, on the telly with all these... Well, we're going to buy an home and that. Um, and they're just a million miles from reality. A million miles from reality. Uh, the North. Well, I reckon it'll set off from the North. <laughs> down the line. You know, we, we're treated like dirt, really, in the north. I mean, there's parts of Manchester that are alright, don't get me wrong, but when you get to Oldham, Rochdale, Bury, Blackburn, it's pretty miserable. It's a shit all. You know who gives a shit about the homeless? Who cares? Nobody cares. Not, not in the positions where they should be caring. They couldn't give a shit. They want the homeless on the streets. They want you to see them. Because it makes you think, shit. I better get to, uh, you know. 
<clears throat> don't tell me. Like, there's a mill over here on the set. I can see it from my house window. Why don't they section that off into little one bedroom apartments for the homeless? Why don't they do that? Because they couldn't give a shit. They take all your money off us, well, off you every week, every month, right? And the homeless, and if you become homeless, there'll be nothing for you. So, in reality, you need to think why are they taking your money, not looking after the homeless? See, or people with nothing. That's a dangerous situation when you've got people with nothing. Just the same as like they say, or what we're going to do is, if immigrants aren't working, we, we, we're going to stop their doll. Do you want a bloke running around the streets with no money? Eh? Do, do you want to hear the window going in the middle of the night and he's stood above you, robbing you, with a baseball bat over your head, and, and his mate that are going through your wife's uh, jewelry shit? Right? Because, I tell you now, when it happens, you see, you yeah. said we were foolish back there. And the reason that we're foolish is because um, if people get turned to such limits, right? You know, they do the craziest of things. So, by all this bullshit that we're letting the system put us under, you you know, you be, you, you're becoming a target, basically. You know, and I know they sell crimes drop, but that's got to be a lie. That's got to be a lie. You know, when times get tough, a crime drops. I don't think so. I just don't believe that for a second. It's got to be bullshit. It's just all bullshit, you see. We'll be one.